Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I had to sit down and film a tutorial with the Desi Times Katie collection with Dose of Colors, or their collab with Dose of Colors because I have been so obsessed with this ever since I did my review video. And I had this idea in my mind and I just had to do it. I had to do the halo eye using the eyeshadows and then a ombre kind of lip with the two lipsticks. So this is the look that I came up with. I hope you guys like it. Before we get into the tutorial, as always, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, just hit the little notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload. I upload three times a week and sometimes a little bit more so you won't want to miss out. And with that being said, if you guys want to see how I achieved this look using the Desi Times Katie and Dose of Colors collaboration slash collection, that was a mouthful, then just keep on watching. Okay, so as usual, I've done my brows and I've prepped the lids. I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 4 and then I just put a little bit of the Gimme Brow from Benefit just through there. Then I carved out the outside and put concealer all over my lids using Tarte Shape Tape and I mix in a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Then I set the lids with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. That's usually how I prep for eyeshadow and we are ready to go. I'm feeling so inspired right now. It is currently midnight. <laughs> I'm so inspired by the Desi and Katie collection that I just, I needed to create this look that's in my head. So I'm so excited to be pulling this out again. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. I'm really sorry I don't have the little card that tells me the names. I'm just gonna take this shade and really lightly buff it through the crease. I love this eyeshadow for a transition shade. It seriously works for every single look. My skin is not being friendly to me, but I kind of deserve it because sometimes you think like that you can get away with eating things and it not showing up on your skin, but I really, I've had too much cheese. <laughs> Dairy makes me break out and I just, I had a little bit too much fun because I discovered these zucchini pizza bites that I've been really loving, but now in return though, my face is starting to look like a pizza, so I'm not really sure if it's all that worth it. <laughs> Good thing we have makeup to cover up our consumption of cheese. So I just want like a really light wash. You can tell it's not really anything extreme, but I just want something there to help all the shadows blend up a little better. I'm so excited for this look. I sure hope it turns out the way I have it in my mind. Let's go into this shade right here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this like warm brown. I'm just gonna pop that on my Sigma diffused crease brush and I'm gonna start to kind of work that a little bit more into the crease itself. Not so much above it where I put the transition shade. And I'm just going to make sure to blend that outward a little bit. Not being too concerned about what's going on out here because we can clean up the edges later. So I just want to basically make sure that everything is looking good in the crease. Not so much concerned right now about the edges. And I'm putting most of the pigment on the outside and then dragging it inward so we have more definition out here than we do towards the inner corner. I'm so excited you guys. I got this little table that's sitting in front of me. You obviously can't see it but I used to use like these little tiny laptop tables to hold my makeup on. And and literally I dropped so many things and my brushes would always roll off them so I'm super excited that I have this little table it's like just a little plastic table that my husband picked up at Walmart but man it is so awesome to be able to spread out all my makeup I forgot I'm actually wanting to kind of do a halo eye so I'm just taking a little bit of that same brown and I'm just deepening up like kind of a little bit in here skipping the center just to kind of give that a little definition I'm just gonna take the end of that brush we were using before and just blend over all of this to make sure everything is nice and blended out and seamless looking I'm just building up a little bit more out here that's the best part about eyeshadows is like if you just start with a little bit you can always build up and make it more intense later you know I'm actually gonna dip into that first shade we used a little bit because I just want this outer corner to look a little bit more diffused not too concerned about what's actually happening but I just want some more pigment there okay now for the best part let's be honest I'm gonna go into the Desi Times Katie Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. Take this shade right here. This is called Noli, the most gorgeous bronze shade. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. This one you do not need to use wet. And because we're creating a halo eye, I'm just going to pack it on the outer part of the eye right now. And then we'll pop it kind of more towards the inner third, but we're gonna try to leave the center as blank as we can. As soon as I saw these shadows and I played with um, Suze, which is the light champagne gold color. I, even, I think I even said it in my review video, but I just really have been wanting to do a halo eye with Suze in the center. So that's what we're doing today. I'm trying to make sure to get this bronze shade close to the lash line as well. 
I'm just gonna quickly take that blending brush through the crease a little bit. I have a little water bottle cap full of water. I'm gonna dip my finger into the water and then I'm gonna go into Sue's. And we're just gonna take this and pop this right in the center. Oh my gosh. These shadows, I'm telling you, they are gorgeous. I kind of want most of the pigment close to the lash line and then like diffuse the gold up, almost touching the crease. We'll blend it out a little bit, but I do want like a little bit of gold there as well. I'm just gonna take my blending brush and gently wipe right above. So it goes a little bit like to the crease, but not too much higher than that. I'm going to pop a little bit more of that bronze on the outside and on this side, just a little. I'm gonna line the upper lash line with the Bobbi Brown Oh, okay, I'm gonna go in with the long wear eye pencil from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Jet. And we're gonna go really close to the lash line just to give it a little bit of definition. But I kind of want to make more of a round eye shape, so I'm not gonna go out too cat eye. I'm just gonna take one of my Costco makeup wipes and I'm just gonna clean up any fallout that may have happened under the eyes. And then this is where we can clean up the shape here. So I just kind of follow my lower lash line and connect it to the end of my brow almost. I'm gonna pop on some moisturizer. This is the Embryolisse Priming Moisturizer. I'm just gonna put a little bit all over. Next, I'm gonna hop into this L'Oreal Radiance Booster Primer. It's a brightening primer, it's like this really pretty light pink shade. And I'm wanting to focus it more on like the outer parts of my face, not so much the center. Just so we have a little radiance underneath my foundation. For foundation, I actually have a little sample from MAC. This is the Pro Long Wear Foundation and I've been wanting to try it, so I got a little sample. This is in the shade NC20. I really wanna know if this is worth purchasing. So um, I got shade matched and I hope that the girl was correct. I'm just taking a concealer brush and I'm kind of brushing this all over. I'm not sure how much of this you need, so let's buff it out with a brush. Okay, once I blended it out, it looks a little bit more like my skin tone. I'm gonna take my little Swirl Beauty Blender. Isn't this so cute? I'm just gonna press that in. But if you've tried this foundation, let me know what you think about it below. I'm just gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is seriously almost completely out. I'm gonna have to like try to scrape some of this out of here. But I'm just wanting some concealer under the eyes. I'm just gonna start with that and blend it out. I wanna have a little bit of a lighter under eye. So I'm just gonna add the smallest amount of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla, right under the eyes. And before that sets down too much, I'm gonna go ahead and pack on a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So now let's go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette for the eyes. I'm gonna take this shade again. I think it might be called Silk Cream. Don't quote me on that. I'm just gonna take this and start to buff this under the lower lash line. And I'm kind of buffing this lower. We're gonna mimic the same halo thing on the lower lash line as well. So this is more of like a transition shade on the lower lash line to like the rest of my face. And I'm also connecting it as best as I can to the shadows in that area. So hopping back into that eyeshadow quad from Dose of Colors, I've got that bronze shade and I might actually use a brush for this. Even though you're technically not supposed to use brushes with this, I just feel like for my lower lash line, it has to be done. So like I said before, we're gonna kind of mimic the top eyelid. So I'm only going on like the outer third and the inner third with this bronze shade, leaving the center open for the gold. So now I just dipped a brush into water and I'm going into Sue's and I'm just going to apply this to the center right underneath where the gold is on the top lashes or on the top lid I mean. I'm actually going to take that same brush and start to put this in the inner corner blending it up into that bronze shade on the top as well as underneath a little bit connecting it to the shadows on the lower lash line. I'm just adding a little bit more of that bronze shade kind of blend over a little bit of the gold. So before we finish up the eyes I'm just gonna go around the face with my shape tape and dot the concealer over blemishes that need a little coverage and then I'm going to take it and conceal and highlight down the center of the face 
I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow brush and just set the concealer that I put on the center of the nose with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna let that sit there and then I'm gonna set the rest of the face with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in the shade Light. They do have a couple shades. I'm just going to press this on the rest of the face. For mascara, I'm gonna hop into this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I tried this out for the first time earlier today and so far I really do like it. That mascara gives so much volume. Holy cow. But that's what I kind of wanted for this look with something really lashy. So while the mascara dries, I'm going to hop into bronzer. This has been what I've been using every day. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. Mine is in the shade Fair to Light. And I love this bronzer so much. So I'm just going to kind of press it along the outer parts of the face. Get it under the cheekbones. It's so buildable and it never looks muddy or streaky on me. It just blends out so nicely and it's like the perfect bronze shade for me. Because my hair is up especially, I'm going to make sure to really blend this into the hairline. That way it looks much more natural. I'm also blending it along the jawline and down the neck. I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to run this down the sides of my nose. And then kind of loop it around the bottom. And I also like to kind of put it on the bottom of my nose as well. And I love to put a little bit under the lip here. I'm just gonna take the brush that I used for the translucent powder and kind of brush this over top of the nose. And we're also gonna brush off that translucent powder that was sitting on the concealer. And sometimes I just like brush the extras around the face. Just make sure it's all blended. So now that my mascara is dry, I'm gonna try out these Ardell Foam Ink Lashes. These are the number 820. 12. These ones are a little bit round and so since we're going for more of a halo eye look, I thought these might suit this look. I really like how it looks with just mascara to be honest, but I don't know. I'm picturing lashes, so we're gonna try it out. Recently I've been using the individual lashes, which are supposed to be more difficult, but I think that they're like sometimes easier than strip lashes. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, guys. <laughs> I like how these lashes are really round. Man, that took me a while though. Now for blush, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. I'm just kind of pressing that onto the cheeks. This smells so good. For a highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie Highlighter in the shade Fuego. This is such a gorgeous highlighter, you guys. I'm just going to kind of go around the perimeter of my face. Cupid's bow. I like a little bit on the chin. I'm going to do some right above the brows. I'm going to take a little bit and just pop it right under the brow bone. And then I'm going to pop some in the inner corner down the center of my nose. This is such a pretty highlight. Ah! I love it. I want just a little bit more of this gold. So I'm taking a wet brush again. I just want the inner corner to really pop. I'm going to set everything with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. While that finishing spray is setting, I'm just gonna add a tad bit more to the highest points of the cheekbone. For lips, I'm gonna take this lipstick from the Desi Times Katie collection. This one is in the shade More Creamer Please. I'm just gonna apply a light layer all over the lips with this. I'm just gonna press that into the lips with my finger. I'm gonna take their other lipstick called No Shade, and I'm gonna put this in the center of the lips. Okay, last thing, I swear. I'm just gonna add a little bit more Gimme Brow to the brows. Give them a little more life. So that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. We've kind of got this halo theme going on with the light in the center of the lids and the light in the center of the lips as well. I feel like it's glamorous yet still wearable. This collection, seriously, you guys, is absolutely beautiful. If you're wondering, it's gonna be launching on the 14th at 10 a.m. I believe it's Pacific Standard Time. I will double check and I'll link everything down below. But oh my goodness, the eyeshadows are stunning. Seriously, the highlight is absolutely everything. I'm so excited for this collection to launch. I have been obsessed with it the past few days. So anyways, I hope you guys like this makeup look. As always, please make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!